happen. Trying to put the Spurs back in on the map. Victor Wooly blah blah boom. Victor won by Anna. Victor will be Anna. And then we got uh Brandon Miller, Scoot Henderson, uh, Eamon Thompson, who has a twin, uh just had Jerice Parker Walker, excuse yep. me, and, and Cam Whitmore. And Cam Whitmore. We know we got them all going that uh all going off the boards this week in the draft. Spurs have first pick. You know, I can't wait till that happens. You know who we picking. But I mean everybody else going I like Scoot Henderson a lot. He reminds me of like a uh more af- not like a more athletic Drew Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe. I mean, Eric, I'm sorry, Eric He's, he's not playing Eric, football. Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, I see. He has the, but he seems like he's a little taller. Like Eric Bledsoe seemed like he had shorter arms. Scoot Henderson seems like he has a, a, a good wingspan. And he seems like he's got a 40 inch vertical. He's like, they said he's only 6'2, but the way that his vertical and his wingspan of athleticism, he plays like this a player that's 6'5 or more. Uh, Brandon Miller looks like a really solid college pro- uh, prospect that could be a stretch four. Of course, he and help a body. your team. Who knows? Uh, the Hornets might apparently shop this pick. Also, the Blazers might shop this pick if they're going to get rid of uh, Dame Lillard in a trade. This pick may be out too, so I have to wait and see. But then the Spurs are definitely keeping their pick and trapping, uh, drafting Victor. We'll see what we got there. Is he going to be another Przingis? Is it going to be more than a Przingis? Can someone at his height even stay healthy? We'll have to stay and check out. And then Thompson and his brother, uh, we checked it out. They're pretty good. Walker, I think he's like six nine, uh-huh. but he definitely plays like he just looks like he has a huge wingspan. I think a seven four wingspan and a huge vertical. He plays like a giant power forward. And then Cam Whitmore. I didn't really remember too much on him. He's from, uh, from Villanova. If you're a big Cam Whitmore fan, put it down in the comments. Yeah, let us know, man. Let us know who you like, man. Let us know who you feel like is going to be the rookie of the year. Rookie of the year picks down I'm, below. I'm, I feel like it's going to be uh, what, J- Jamarcus Walker or Brandon Miller. I mean, like, Brandon Miller, he got... Jarese. Jarese uh, Walker. Jarese. Tyrese Walker or Brandon Miller. That's what my pick is. I mean, Scoot Anderson. I'll go with Scoot or Victor. I mean, but I understand. A lot of people were saying that Scoot might go to what the to the to Charlotte. Well, yeah, I think. But that doesn't make any well, sense because you got everyone's ball there. Mock's draft is is different. We just pulled this image and, and just use it as a placeholder. I personally think that Victor's going one. I think that Scoot's going two, and I think Brandon Miller will go three. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't know if the Hornets are going to keep that pick. Or trade it since they sold their team and they're doing a bunch of random stuff. And a lot of people said that they might not want Scoot Henderson because he's another point guard. So they might trade back in the trade and get try to get some more assets. So we'll kind of see there. And we're gonna let you know. We gonna, of course you know we're gonna keep you all posted with this as soon as NBA uh, or some summer league started up. I can't wait. The draft is on Thursday, so we'll be talking about what trades go down because usually a lot of trades go down draft night so if there's any big trades we'll definitely talk about